Hey everybody, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're going to be going over how you can customize the Yaru theme. So if you don't know what Yaru is, let me open up tweaks here. Yaru is the default Ubuntu theme. So if you look at my appearance settings, I'm using Yaru. So it means these kind of icons and the orange slick style, uh, you know, look that it's got here as well as the, uh, you know, comes with this terminal theme and uh, this style window management theme and the mouse cursor. It's all very nice looking, but it can be kind of boring. You know, I don't really like orange and Ubuntu is obsessed with orange and so on. So there's actually a really interesting project called Yaru Colors. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Yaru colors to, you know, maybe keep it default, you know, the default Ubuntu look that they were going for, but change it up just a tad. And so we can do that now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get to the Yaru colors GitHub page. So I've got the article I wrote open up. And uh, if you get it open and the link is in the description, you can see that the link to the Yaru color stuff is right here on the release section and you can download it here and we can go to the github page like I was saying you can read all the information it's got a lot of information you know all of what it supports as well as detailed instructions which we've of course simplified in the tutorial I've written so to start off open up a terminal and you need to install the git package because if you look by default you know, for some reason I have it installed, but mostly if you look by default, if you run the git command, it's not going to work. So you got to install git. Now from here, you can download Yaru colors to your computer with the git command like so. Or like before, you can go to the git page, you can go to the releases section right up there, and you can download it manually. I would suggest cover it. I would suggest going with what we've covered, but you can get it in both ways. So. Now, Yaru Colors takes a bit of time to download because there's a lot of theme files, but once it's done, you can you can run the ls command on top of the folder, and the ls command will just let you see what's inside of the file. You know, you can see we've got the install script as well as the icons, uninstall script, wallpapers, all this stuff. Now from here, we need to move into the folder like so, and uh, you can install Yaru Colors. Now there's different ways you can do this. We're gonna follow the single user method and to do that, all we need to do is run the shell script like so. Now once I run the shell script, you're gonna see a thing pop up on screen and uh, we will continue on with the installer. So any key to start, it's gonna ask me some questions. Do you wanna install a complete package? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, that's correct. Now it's going to ask me where I want to install it. So by default, it's going to tell me it's going to install here. I'm going to leave that default. Same for the icons. It's going to tell me it's going to install here by default. I'm going to leave that blank. It's going to do what it's going to do. It'll copy all of the files. It shouldn't take too long. And uh, you can also activate the theme right out of the box. So do you want to enable themes? So Yes, you want to enable themes so you can have it set up and automatically turned on. So one for yes. I want normal. Uh, my favorite color is red, so I'm going to say 13. Uh, let me see. Icon pack, yes. Now this is all custom customizable. You guys can make your own decisions, but I'm just doing red because I like red. And I want a cursor theme, same red. I'm going to make everything red. Doc indicator, yes. Once again, red. I know that's kind of boring for some of you guys. Once I've made all my decisions, though, it's going to tell me it's going to enable all four of my choices. And I can tell them that the summary is correct, and it's going to do so. Now, once I do that, you should instantly notice a change in Yaru. So now this is no longer orange, it's red. And if I go to, I think, you can tell that there's the red indicators over here, but if I open up the terminal, and you actually can't tell a difference in the terminal, but the selection colors, the indicators, it's all hit and miss, but it does change up Yaru a little bit. I feel at least the icons are a little bit more red. It's still orange red because it's Ubuntu, but I highly suggest this if you've, you know, struggled with the default theme, this is definitely something I would go for. 
Yaru colors definitely makes everything look nicer. And you know, you can rerun the script at any time and you can swap it out. So I went with red and you can't really tell the difference between red and orange, <laughs> but uh, it's my favorite color and that's one I went with, but you can go with aqua, purple, anything, and it'll change it up just a little bit. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.